Every car enthusiast dreams of building their own car. But Adrian Square, the young, enthusiast engineer in the 1930s, made that a reality with this fantastic red two-seater. As a schoolboy, Squire had already planned the specification and drawn brochures of his supercharged machines. After learning his engineering craft at Bentley and MG, he set up business at Remenham Hill with his lucky inheritance and the support of wealthy car man friends. There's something special about bringing a car back to a place where it has history. And we're very fortunate today to bring the Squire to Stoner Park. This car was probably parked here in the 1930s as the Honourable Sherman Stoner, a friend of Adrian's, was one of the first to order this fantastic machine. What better tribute to the reality of their dreams and that amazing history that was born around this area. The specification of the new sports car was uncompromising. Squire demanding only the finest components, lightweight build and advanced design. Special features included a twin cam engine with root supercharger, the sleek, low chassis featured 15-inch magnesium brakes and just like an ERA racer, a pre-selector gearbox. The first Squire was tested at Brooklands where its 100 mile an hour performance was fine-tuned. As you'd expect from such a perfectionist design team, the Squire is marvellous to drive with its superior balance, magnificent brakes, accurate steering and impressive acceleration. This English exotic set the standard for its day. When new, the Squire set an amazing cross-country average of nearly 70 mile an hour from Henley-on-Thames to Liverpool. Thanks to the rapid pre-selector gear change, the lucky driver can keep both hands on the steering wheel when coring. Just seven were built before the doors closed in Squire's garage. Fastest of these rare machines is a short chassis skimpy, of which only one lightweight, X1052, was built. Kept by the factory, it competed in the 1936 RAC rally before a succession of enthusiastic owners. Adrian Squire later went to work with W.O. Bentley at Lagonda before joining the design team at Bristol Aviation. Tragically, during an air raid, his shelter took a direct hit and at just 30 years, this brilliant engineer's life was cut short. This fantastic pre-war sports car offered by Fiskins is a wonderful tribute to his remarkable automotive achievements.